So today I want to talk about the Sigma 45mm f2.8 L-mount lens. So let's get started. So in the past, I have used Sigma lenses like the 16-35 to 35 art lens on the Micro Four Thirds system. I used it on the GH5. It was a very optically uh, pleasing lens, very sharp. So I was curious to try this lens, the 45mm. And these are my observations. So right off the bat, I couldn't help but notice how small it was. It's very uh, travel friendly compared to the 50mm f1.4, which is a Panasonic S Pro lens. It's much bigger, it's much heavier, and it sort of precludes you from uh, using it with as much travelability, for lack of a better word, as the 45 millimeter Sigma lens. The Sigma 45 lens weighs in at 0.47 pounds, so just a hair under half a pound, whereas the 50 millimeter F1.4 Panasonic S Pro lens weighs north of two pounds, something like 2.8 two pounds I believe. Now I tested the Sigma 45 lens along with the Lumix S5 and I took it out, took some video and photos and I'll show you some footage here. So take a look. I found the lens to be very sharp, almost too sharp. The footage was very crisp and the images were very clear. So it's definitely very high quality. Although I would say I prefer the optical quality of the 50 millimeter F1.4 a bit more. Now working with Sigma and Panasonic in the past, I've known that the out of focus synergy oftentimes is not really there. For whatever reason, Sigma and Panasonic just don't seem to be on the same page when it comes to out of focus. So I wanted to try that for myself with the Sigma 45 f2.8 using the same autofocus settings I've been using with some measure of success with the Lumix S5 and the S1. So I put the autofocus settings below. It is an AFC with human tracking on, animal tracking off, and you can take a look here.
I went in with the expectations that the autofocus was not going to really work at all. Like with the Sigma 16 to 35 on the GH5, the autofocus was just very jittery, uh, very all over the place. But anyway, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful or insightful, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.